Hello everyone, my name is Fu Ganding, and I'm going to have a presentation about convolution codes and Viterbi algorithm. Channel coding has so many names, but I prefer forward error control coding, which is a process of detecting and correcting the errors in wireless communication. Before convolution codes, we have Repetition codes and block codes. Repetition code just simply repeat the message bit n times. If we set n equal three and the message bit is a, it will become a a after encode. So for the weight of uh, one over three repetition codes, as we said, the br for the coded sequence of bits will be 10 to the negative three and the BR for the information bits will be 10 to the negative six. So it looks like we are improved the BR, but it's like the trade-off between memory bandwidth and BR. Next, we have block code. Block codes applies some control amounts of redundancy into a transmitted data stream. So it will divide uncoded stream into a fixed size of blocks like this to the K symbol block. Then we will add a redundancy to each block from the encoded data stream as this part. So we have Humming code. Humming code is one of the linear block codes, and it will have the coding matrix like this: mg equals c. So many channel coding strategy can be represented in this format as well. And humming code has humming matrix and the code generator matrix. In humming code, we also have code book like this. And we can get the humming distance of each sequence here. And for the most small one, we will choose that will be the most likely message we got. The code book is perfect for one bit error channel coding. If it's more than that, it will be not accurate perfectly like this. In terms of convolution codes, we have the formula for the code bit one, code bit two for the two extra parity bits here. This is the binary addition and we can also have binary multiplication. This is the simple circuit of the both formulas. And in general, convolution codes in code uh, have three parameters. Uh, we call it NKM. N is the data rate of inputs, bits. K is the data rate of output bits. And M is the memory size. We also call it constraint length. And show on the figure here, we have the constraint length of three, the rectangular here. Next, we will have trellis diagram because convolution code also can be think of finite state machine. So this is like the graph for the finite state machine. Next, because the example we have is the four state with way one over two convolutional encoder. So each stage T will have four stage here. So we have the trellis diagram looks like we have the nodes. Each state become a node and the link here. In terms of max likelihood decoding and shortest path problem, we can use math to prove it somehow. First, this is the expression for the maximum likelihood decoding of convolution code here. If we put log on both sides, 
it will become the equation here. The summation from k equals zero to l minus one. The l minus one is like the sequence length. So we have the log p of zk and xk. Because this part, the p, zk, and sk is in Gaussian. So we can write something like this. 1 over square root of 2 pi tau um, with the exponent function with negative 1 over 2 uh, zk minus sk square. And because this can be think of constant because it will not be influenced by maximum or minimum. So we can get rid of it and the log and the exponent bonan get canceled out. So we can get maximum of summation of the negative zk minus xk square. By get rid of the negative side, it will become minimum the summation of zk minus xk square. So it can be the shortest path problem because we are getting the minimum distance. So like this, if we, we are thinking of Richter B algorithm, um, one important concept is the principle of optimum, which means at each time stage here, for each t to the t plus one, we need to make sure this link has the minimum cost, which also the minimum distance here. And for the next is also the minimum distance. We do the same thing here. So then if the destination is this state, so we are getting the shortest path from the states zero, zero to the state zero one here in the time t equal five. Next, I'm going to talk about the program. So at first we are looking for the Python program, little bit decoder that I modified. So I take the uh, nodes and the chains as the matrix, then we will um, have the scores like in every time state, then the chains uh, is the is the result we calculate by the observe and the nodes. So we will have the score and index. Finally, we will get a path. So the best path shows the shortest distance here. And we need to back checking to make sure that we are getting the optimum path. So this is the output, the 2222 uh, in terms of the input like this. Uh, we can also have the different input of nodes. We can increase the nodes. Okay. Like this, then we will get Because um, the chains stays the same and the node is similar. So we will get the result 2222 as the shortest path. So next we have the C++ program. Then first we have the hacker file like this. We have the encode, decode setup in the header file and also the matrix and the chalice. And for the function Witter B C, we are doing the encode, decode. So the program is doing the encode, decode, then it will compute the path matrix and generate the chalice to see if it fits. Then also as the same one is the last step trace back 
to find if we are, have the optimum path of after the decode. So we will also remove the production bits um, if somehow it exceeds the constraint length we set before. So as the first example, we are doing the encode in terms of 375, the and the sequence is this one, then we are getting the result of this. Then um, if we doing the decoder of this one, which one is like this. We are getting the this result, and it's the same when I use in the encode, so it works fine in this program. So we have another example. If we do the encode of this one. We are getting this result. And if we are doing the decoding of this one, which we made the first biggest one here. We are getting the original message of this because when we do the encode we remove the fraction bits that's why this becomes zero so for the last one is the MATLAB program and I don't have MATLAB on my computer so I record it and that's no audio the whole program is Compare the weaker bit decoding, the offer use, and compare with the library decode we saw from the VIT DEC library of the MATLAB. So the alerts will show when their result is approximately equal to zero. And all of this program and are online from GitHub. Thank you so much.